The bassoon is the only woodwind instrument that requires all ten fingers to play. Hi, my name is Tina Carpenter and I'm the principal bassoonist here with the Amarillo Symphony. It wasn't until I became a music major at Florida State University as a freshman, where I entered as a clarinet major, that I suddenly learned about the bassoon. The bassoon teacher there came up to me one day and basically said, you're going to be a bassoon player and I started playing at the end of my freshman year. It's been a wonderful ride ever since. The bassoon is the largest of the woodwind instruments, which makes it the bass voice. It's about eight feet long, and it's one of the only instruments that's actually folded in half. So the length is a little bit deceptive here. If you look at the very front of the instrument, you'll see open holes, not unlike what we would see on a clarinet. But the real fun starts on the back of the instrument. Because of the length, we have this very elaborate key system. So up here, for my left thumb, I have nine keys, which thankfully I don't have to hit all at once. The right thumb, I have four keys down here. So as the old joke goes, to be a good bassoon player, you have to be all thumbs. Bassoon is a double reed instrument. If you'll notice, my reed is right here. It's bigger than an oboe reed because it's a lower instrument. The reed is made out of cane or uh, a type of wood, the same sort of material that you see your clarinet reeds, your saxophone reeds, and your oboe reeds. In this case, it's two pieces of cane that are tied together with wire and with string. And the sound is produced as you blow into the reed when those blades vibrate together. It's a wonderful instrument, it's challenging, and it gives me a lot of great satisfaction in the discipline and the hard work that it takes to play an instrument well.